Hi there. Now with this question, we're given this sketch here of a curve with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals x plus 3 all squared multiplied by x minus 1, where x is any real number. And the curve crosses the x-axis at the point 1, 0, touches it at minus 3, 0, and crosses the y-axis at naught minus 9. And for the first part, we've got to sketch the curve C with equation y equals f of x plus 2 and state the coordinates of the points where the curve C meets the x-axis. Now, if you'd like to have a go at this part, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part A, we've got to sketch the curve then y equals f of x plus 2. And what this does, we should be familiar with it, is whatever graph you've got, it will translate it two units to the left. Okay, So if we mark on our axis here, then this part here, minus 3, is now going to be shifted down to minus 5 on the curve. Okay, So just mark that as minus 5. We'll extend that x-axis just out there a bit. This point here shifts back two units, so it's now going to be at minus 1. It's not necessarily drawn to scale here. So our curve is going to look something like this. It's going to take the same shape, but everything just shifted down by two units. So you're going to get something looking like this. Coming up, touching the x-axis at minus 5, down, and then up through the minus 1, and up something like that. So this is then an equation for the curve C. That would be y equals f of x plus 2. Now for the second part, part b, we've got to write down the equation of the curve C. So I'll give you a moment just to write down that equation if you haven't done so already. Okay, so welcome back then if you had a go at that part. So for part b, what would that equation be for y equals f of x plus 2? Well, all we've got to do is replace any x in our original equation with x plus 2. So for the first bracket here, we've got in place of x, x plus 2, then plus another 3. So it's going to be x plus 5, and that's all squared. x plus 5 all squared. And then again, in this bracket, replace that x with x plus 2, and you've got x plus 2 minus 1, so that's going to be x plus 1. All right. Now, in the final part, part C, it says use your answer to part B, then, to find the coordinates of the point where the curve C meets the y-axis. This point here, then, in other words. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go at that one. Well, when any curve crosses the y-axis, x will always be 0. So all we've got to do is just say when x equals 0, substitute this into our equation here. So you're going to see that you get y equals 0 plus 5, all squared. In other words, 5 squared, OK, multiplied by 0 plus 1, multiplied by 1. So you're going to get 25 off of this. So in answer to the question, we just summarize, we can say, therefore, C crosses okay, the y-axis at... 0, 25. All right?